Hi, this is a quick introduction to an add-on I've created for Blender uh, and it's for creating zonohedrons. Zonohedrons are these shapes here. Uh, they can be multi-sided. Um, this is a standard zonohedron. This is one that I've created. It's a lattice work one with, uh, with some slight curvature and this is a spiral one. So to get this to work with Blender, all you need to do is right click and I'll provide a link to this page on the website uh, in the video description. If we click on save link as hmm. and then if we click on save uh, I'm just going to save it to my downloads. What I'm going to do then is go into uh, Blender and I'm going to go to File, uh, User Preferences and you can do it in one of two ways. You can install it from File. Uh, so if you click on Install from File here and then you can see under Downloads I've got it there so we can click on Install from File. The other thing you can do too is if you want to you can uh, copy it and uh, then paste it straight into the uh, add-ons folder for your particular uh, Blender version. Uh, either way will work, will work fine. So if I go back to here and go back to my user preferences and just click on install from file, you can see here that uh, I've got the add-in and uh, if I select that, that'll then be installed and I'll be able to use it every time that Blender opens up. So I'll click on save user settings and then close that window. So under create in the tools panel, if the tools panel isn't active just click on T and you can toggle it with the T key. Uh, I've got this added extra panel called add zonohedron. Um, you can see that we've got different types. So the main type here is zonohedron and I'm going to take the sides up to 12 and click on make zonohedron. And so that's created uh, our first zonohedron. So it's 12 sided and you can see this is a top orthographic view and you can see we've got this nice uh, geometric shape here. So uh, with all the different different facets. If we want to take uh, that down we can do that so I'm going to just make this a simpler zonohedron and uh, I'll click on that and you can see here that we've got this very basic uh, six-sided six shape. Uh, the maximum you can go up to is 30 uh, we could do more but I thought 30 was enough and you can see here that we've now got this very smooth um, object but it still has the the uh, the facets, so that's that's the standard. Uh, if I take that down to to twelve again, what I'll do now is I'll show you the uh, the spiral zonohedron. So um, uh, and you can see that this area that before was uh, previously grayed out. Um, is now active. So um, let's give it a spiral count of four and click on make zonohedron. And you can see here that we've got this nice uh, sort of seashell like shape uh, created from the, um, from the spiral mode. You can take the spirals down a bit more if you want and click on make and uh, I'll just move that one out so you can see that there and the most basic one is the uh, zonohedron of one so if you click on that and we'll go G move that you can see there we've got the basic spiral I've had the reverse spiral selected if we deselect that and click on make and I'll just move that out you can see there that we've actually got the mirror image so it's actually spiraling by default, uh, when this is deselected, in uh, in a clockwise manner. So uh, that's that's the spiral, 
And uh, the next one I'll show you is the, uh, the curved. And I'll just go A. Okay, so for the, uh, the curved sonohedron, you can see with the regular, uh, the details grayed out. When you select curved, the, uh, the detail section appears and uh, that's where we're actually going to increase or decrease the curves and I'll demonstrate that now. So if we click on make sonohedron here, I'll take it back down to solid so we can see it. You can see here that we've got uh, a lot more detail and we've got this nice sort of curvy spiral shape. Um, if you remember with the regular zonohedron, and what I can do is I can demonstrate by taking this down to a detail of one. Let's delete that. Now, you can see here that we've got the original standard zonohedron with all the faceted sides. So what adding detail does is, let's take it up to a maximum of six and click on make. If we go into edit mode, you can see here that we've got a lot more detail uh, between the vertices. So, and um, you know, we've got the nice, uh, the nice circular shape. Now, if we try and fill the faces on this, uh, it doesn't look great. Um, but what we can do is we can make a really nice lattice. So what we're going to do here is go add modifier and then we're going to click on skin and it doesn't look great but we'll fix that so I'm just going to click on S for scale and make that larger and then I'm going to repeat that process again until I get this sort of nice uh, lattice curved lattice framework the other thing I'll do is I'll add another modifier so again it's just under the modifier tools uh, click on subdivision surface and let's make that uh, subdivision of two in the view and you can see here that smooth, smoothed it off quite a bit uh, and if we go into rendered we've got the nice uh, sort of curved interesting lattice and it's it's great this um, combination tools because you can use it for um, the any of the meshes uh, you know the ICO sphere or the UV sphere. Uh, you just delete the faces and you can go ahead and and um, and make that object. So let's go back to object mode. Um, I'll show you one thing that might be of interest to people as well. I'll just delete this one. Uh, if we go and we create a standard zonohedron, and if we click on uh, make. And I'm just going to zoom in on that one. And let's go into solid. And let's go into edit mode. If you go down to length and select that, you'll actually see that all of these edges have exactly the same length. And it doesn't matter how you scale it, uh, they'll always be the same. So that's how you tell that it's a, a true zonohedron. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the, the video. Uh, I hope you find the tool useful and, um, and install the add-on and create your own zonohedrons and um, thanks for watching.